Well, I'm sure most of us have been through that where we go to get some ice for a nice tall glass of iced tea and for some reason or another, there's no ice in the bucket. Well, one of the reasons for that is it could be a faulty fill valve. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to replace that valve. I'll show you all the tips and tricks of it and everything you need to do before and after the installation. So let's get started. The first thing we want to do when we are going to replace any parts on the refrigerator, such as the fill valve, we want to locate and identify the model number tag, usually located on the inside of the refrigerator. And then we want to write that, part, that model number down and call your local supply house and order the valve or either go by there and pick one up. The next step we want to do is to go ahead and pull the refrigerator. Now we want to go ahead and turn the water supply off. Now we've got the water turned off to the line coming into the ice valve, the ice maker valve. And what we want to do also is go ahead and unplug the refrigerator just for safety reasons. Okay. First thing you want to do, bring you a towel because you are going to get some water. Go ahead and remove the fill line. take a quarter inch nut driver and there's two screws that hold the valve in place. And then go ahead and pull the valve out of the hole. Carefully. Okay. Now you're going to see the line coming from the valve to your ice maker. You want to go ahead and remove that. This is where your towel is going to come in handy. And unplug it, just like that. And there's your old valve. Now we've gotten the same identical valve as a new replacement, so going in should be just like it was coming out. We'll set the old one to the side. Go ahead and remove the little cap here on the top. Go ahead and plug it in. screw in our water line to the bottom and secure that. And 
And we can tuck this back into the hole. Get our quarter inch head screws here. I'm going to put them right back in the hole that they came out of. Take our fill line, go ahead and screw it back in place. And our adjustable wrench. Now we can turn the water back on. We've got pressure. And we've just replaced the water valve. Well, that wasn't so bad, was it? I hope that's going to help you. And a little helpful tip for you, just something that I uh, thought I might let you know. If you have when you go to your ice maker or your ice bin to get ice out of it and you're finding hollow cubes, they're just outside shells of an ice cube, that's a pretty good indication that you need to replace your fill valve. Now we're working today on a Whirlpool refrigerator, simple, just an ice maker, no dispenser in the door, no water or anything like that on the refrigerator, so it's a single coil valve. There are other type valves out there that are double valves and some that are a little bit more complicated. One of the things I want to tell you is that if you noticed on the video there's a piece of cardboard on the back of that refrigerator that's there for the cooling effect and for the air circulation down around the compressor and the condenser area. You want to make sure that if you have to take that cover off be mindful not to destroy it or, or tear it up and definitely you want to put that cardboard back in, back in place just like you took it off. It's very critical for the cooling and the air circulation around your mechanical devices such as, like I said, the compressor and the condenser. So this is Dan Giles with Let's Fix It. I hope to see you soon.